Hey, it's Polestar Expedition. Let's check it out. Is it going to be any fun? Who knows? New Community Expedition. You started on a new save. So usually, on these new expeditions, I watch somebody play maybe the first five minutes just so I know what to expect. Or, I play it on a different account just for the first five minutes to see what to expect. This is uh, totally new to me. I haven't looked at anybody's video. I haven't seen this before. Voice is all wrong, man. <laughs> wow. So we're in a freighter. How about that? The voice is really weird. I'm so used to the other voice. Who's that guy? Expedition number eight, Polestar. With ships flying outside. Alright, what do we got? Uh, the cruise of the CS4 Kumaguchi has begun. The expedition tab will show your progress through the journey. Complete milestones to earn rewards. Your fader will be your primary mode of transport. As Starship is heavily restricted, really. Earn exclusive rewards, take your capital ship on a cruise, exclusive expedition rewards, okay. Alright, I can't fly in my starship. Alright, so I got a big old gun, it's the Vector Probe. I've got a, a shuttle, a green shuttle for a starship that is uh, at least symmetrical, so it's got that much going for it. And then my exosuit looks like the uh, standard startup exosuit, how about that? And then the freighter! is a C-Class busted up freighter with the big old flange and a uh, spoiler. Hmm. All right. Uh, warning, capital ship severely damaged. Select log one emergency. Well, we need to look at the uh, expedition steps, which it opened up to. Uh, phase one, read the first entry in the ship's log. That's all I have to do. Uh, repair vital freighter systems. Set foot on land. Construct a refiner room. Warp with your capital ship, construct a storage room, install an interstellar scanner, reach the first rendezvous. So, what most of these expeditions, in my opinion, usually are, is some sort of tutorial introducing new features to the game. And that seems like exactly what Polestar is in this case, it's introducing us to the new freighter stuffs. So, uh, read the first entry in the ship's log. Right, wh where do I do that? Let's talk to this dude. Hey, what's your name? Admiral Kuzer. Uh, transfer items. Access to ship's logs. Hey. Date stamp uh, 1268.2. Arrived in Wakazi system. Warp engine shut down mid jump. Reactor critically damaged. They're starting to run out of parts now. We can't continue like this. At least the captain's cryopod is beginning to thaw. You know that trick never works. Alright, I, I read the first log. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Uh, excuse me while I, uh, while I look at my log book here. Collect the reward. Starship inventory slot times two. Salvage frigate module. Wiring loom times two. Cargo bulkhead. Purple paint freighter customization. Just... What I wanted. How much cargo do we have? Yeah, the starship's going to be limited, so I'm just going to apply a couple of jazz. There's the purple. Yep. Yep, thanks. Finished it. Yep. Stuff is happening. You're waving again. Cargo bulkhead. Got it. Uh, it appears multiplayer's on. Hang on just a second. I'm going to turn off multiplayer and definitely turn off PvP and I'll get to these options later, but I don't want to do this in multiplayer mode. A rousing donut has left the system. Thankfully, I was in multiplayer long enough to see that. All right, what's next? What is next? Uh, repair vital freighter systems. Reward, any matter times two starship launch fuel. View details. 
Freighter has been damaged. Obtain specific repair guidance by pinning the component and technologies. Alright, what? Just show me the stuff. Uh, I can repair this. Okay. Just happen to have these. And this. I need to make two antimatters. Do I have the stuff I need to make them? I need ferrite dust and oxygen. And is that, was that it? Oh, this thing. And a magnetic resonator and a wiring loom. Probably going to need to hop out in the ship. Ooh, what was that noise? All hands on deck. Restore critical freighter systems. I didn't do it. I didn't do it, you know. In your starship to begin the search. What what was that? What did what did it just do? Repair vital freighter systems. Okay, I repaired one. And that gives me some starship launch fuel and two repair kits and two antimatter. Alright. I'm liking it so far. I need the two antimatter. I don't really need the housing, but you want me to have the housing anyway, and I don't have this stuff yet. I do have a save point. There goes that ship. Can we see the ship anywhere? I missed it. But we do have purple paint to match the purple sky. How about that? All right, hold on. Set foot, land on a planet. All right. Well, you know, let's uh, let's. I'm gonna inspect my freighter first. What kind of rooms do we have? I got the fleet. What is this? What the heck is this? I don't know what this is. Hmm. Oh, it's just a. Uh, you know, I got this glass room. That's cool. It's just uh just. I don't know. What do you want to say? Just decoration, I guess? Uh, outside? Okay. I do have some plants growing. Uh, the gauntlets are required. Alright. And that looks about it. That looks to be about it. Did I miss anything? It's outside over there and death just curves around. Okay. So let's go down and hop in the ship. Where's, where's my ship? There it is. Oh, the ship needs repaired too. Uh, what? Really? What needs repaired? I don't think anything needs repaired. Yeah, I don't think anything needs repaired. It's a shuttle, and we use uh, old uh, combustion engine, apparently. Let's, let's go. And let's uh, hope it doesn't catch on fire. Alright, and uh, let's see. Hold on. And are, Am I seriously going to be smoking the whole time? I'm going to go to the space station, because... It does look like I might be smoking the whole time. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm missing something? So I moved everything around, all the technology, and uh, we're still, we're still on fire. And you know, that actually makes me pretty happy. Do I have any money? I don't have any money. So what am I doing here? I just got a landing. That actually makes me happy that uh, we're on fire, because I think all shuttles should be on fire like this. Alright, we got a nuclear planet. Uh, by the way, I don't have a warp engine, a hyperdrive, and I don't have the plans for a hyperdrive. I think that's how they trap us in this system. Uh, let's get into the, uh, to the smoking beast. And, uh, we got any good planets? All plants farm and more. It's a caustic planet. It's gonna be, uh... Toxic, and this is a high temperature planet. Which planet should we choose? Not the abandoned planet. I think I'm going to choose this, the radioactive planet, except I'm going to go to the other side. It's 
it's unfortunate that when you switch views while you're pulsing, you get the weird shakes. Lifeless planet. That's all right. We'll go with the one with the rings. Uh, nuclear planet. We'll go right down here. So I forgot to move that launch fuel that it gave me. Did it put put it in the exosuit? Yeah, so the launch fuel that it gave me is sitting very comfortably in the freighter. Okay, so I had I have a uh, I have a terrain manipulator, please. I think I can make a terrain manipulator. Okay, I'm going to have to get the terrain manipulator and get some uranium to be able to take off. It's okay. That's why I picked a radioactive planet cuz I was thinking ahead. All right, I'm going to restart the game real quick and see if I can I'm going to collect the planet side milestone and then I'm going to restart the game to see if I can get rid of the fire, even though a flaming shuttle makes me happy. Wrong button. Expedition. What do we get? Refiner room plans, a bunch of oxygen, some band hazard protection upgrade, powerful mining beam up upgrade. There's the new part. That's the refiner room. That's, that's good. What kind of, uh, what kind of thingy did I get? Uh, suspicious hazard protection module. Alright, let's put it on. What, what is it? Just a percentage? 10, 10, 10, and 10. Okay, mining beam? You know, you know, sure. There's the mining beam. Well, fortunately or unfortunately, restarting the game did fix the problem on the shuttle. I guess I started off in first person view because we were on the freighter. That's interesting. Swap, toggle, camera view, control two. There, that's much better. And I am normal looking, which is also good. All right, we have some uranium right over here. I'm going to go get the uranium really quick. 234 uranium. I mean, that'll last me a little while. Now, what else am I going to need to repair the uh, freighter with? Do you remember? I can't actually see it from here, but I have three repair kits, so I can go ahead and use that. And I've got a salvage frigate module and a couple of bulkheads, and I've got some uranium, and I've landed on the planet. And the shuttle is no longer on fire. And we are either happy or sad about this. Always check the expedition guide to see if you're going to need to come back. Construct a refiner room on your freighter. Warp hypercores. All right. Nope. I. That's fine. And then warp to a new system. Construct a storage room. Install the interstellar scanner. And reach the first rendezvous. All right. All right. And from the comfort of my own starship, I can say... Do I really want to use the repair kits for the antimatter housing? Why didn't I pick up ferrite dust? Somehow I got ferrite dust. How many can I make? I can only make one. Well, by shooting the ground, I've got the ferrite needs done. But the storm's clearing. I've got 105, uh, or 910 carbon, 27 condensed carbon. Some animals might have been killed during uh, my little foray. And uh, the only thing I find is an abandoned warehouse, eh? No, it's not an abandoned warehouse. But I don't have the tools to do this, but I can park here and I won't need uh, launch fuel. I'm gonna go out and dig up some uh, buried tech for cash. It's the easiest way I know to get cash. Ooh, four salvage tech. That's not bad. That's some quick money. You know you want to give me a movement module. Come on. You know it. Did I really expect anything else besides nothing? Another four. All right. Well, this planet's given me four at a time. So that's enough money to be able to get some stuff that I need. So let's get back to this ship. All right. I'm going to do some quick purchasing in the old space station here. 
eight salvage data for 426,000. Thank you very much. It's the same gun, I think. I'll go ahead and get that suit slot. I'm going to pick up the usual essentials. I don't need ferrite dust, but I'm going to pick up all the oxygen they have and all the sodium they have. And remember, I didn't remember until right this second. I needed a magnetic resonator. I don't know how many I need. I'm going to buy three of them. And I might as well buy five batteries. And I can buy some more uranium. Don't know that I need it. And uh, maybe I don't think I need metal plating. And that seems about all that you have. You never know when we're going to need a wiring loom. So let's buy two wiring looms. And watch me need microprocessors. Well, is what it is. Let's get back to the freighter. Hey, nice to see you. Here's the green steps right behind here. Okay. So now, the refiner room requires two dihydrogen jellies. And I can make two of them easy peasy. So let's go ahead and put the refiner room... There's a window there. Let's put it right here. There's an outside there. Um, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I don't know where I want to put it. I think I want to get rid of this window here and I want to put it over here. So I can actually destruct this by hitting C and then X. What does that give me? It gives me a glass. All right, let's put the refiner room right there. We don't need no stinking window. You gonna reward me? Well, old machine, install the refiner room. Thank you very much. And hit escape. What do I get for that? I get a warp hyper core and some storage room plans. And uh, it's gonna want me to build a storage room. Fortunately, I bought some sodium. I'd like to say because I remembered I was gonna need it, but it's not true. All right, I'm hitting all the keys. Do we just have a corridor here? Freighter corridor? Yeah, let's put a freighter corridor uh, right down here. There we go. And then let's uh, build one of those uh, one of those storage rooms, which was here. Storage room number zero right here. There we go. Super cargo. It's just one storage room, right? Now, what do I get for that? Escape, not tab. What do I get for this? Super cargo, collect reward. Interstellar scanner plan, salvage frigate module times two. Oh, I can build the interstellar scanner. Well, I'm going to do that right now because I got two wiring looms, I swear. I swear to you, I did not know that I needed two wiring looms. And the magnetized ferrite is just because I was shooting into the ground. And I think the chromatic metal was on the freighter already. That's luck. Yeah, thanks. Yep, I was just looking at it. Thanks for the song and everything. Um, I want to do the interstellar thing, but I also wanted to do something else. We need to warp. But the thing is, let me go and install the... or buy? Let's... what do I need to buy the base parts and upgrades? No, I was awarded it. I just need to install it. Upgrade to the intergalactic D. So where do you, uh, I guess you just put it in the uh, freighter. We can go ahead and put it in technology. Oh, that's right. I never repaired this. Two antimatter housings. I'll get there in a minute. Let's install this thing. Boom, boom, boom. Hit me. All right, Galactic Catalog. Installed the Interstellar Scanner. Okie doke. Um, what did that reward me? E now I get 2,000 nanites, a powerful movement system upgrade, powerful pulse engine upgrade. All right. Just don't despair me with the theatrics. Just give me the stuff. 
Where would those upgrades have gone? Uh oh. I guess I gotta wait for the theatrics. Those aren't powerful, man. You gave me an A? You gave me an A upgrade. Where did they go? Where... Where did they go? They went in cargo on the freighter. Okay. Movement module... Um... Yeah... There's... Move this back here. I know, this is the most exciting stuff. Inventory management, right? 150, 23, 11% recharge, 24% sprint distance. Hey, it's not bad. It's not bad. What did I need that for? You remember what I needed that for? You needed it to repair something. Um... Alright, also, uh, I think I can do the bulkhead. Upgrade storage. Add additional storage, right? Yeah, I got one bulkhead. What do I want to put it in? I mean, might as well just the, just the front. There we go. And then I want to repair this with two antimatter housings. And I don't need to use the repair kits yet. I'm saving them. Saving them for something special. Yeah, let's repair this. Boom. Oh, no. He used up all the chromatic metal on the wrong upgrade. How embarrassing. Where can I get chromatic metal, I wonder? Hmm. Oil copper. Yeah, I don't have any copper on me, do we? Does anybody have any copper? I'm gonna have to go to another planet and get some copper. I'm gonna go to all plants, farms, and more. Because. I wonder how he got a base computer. Do we have base computer technology on us? It must be one of the expedition steps. Go. Nice landing. Let's catch a save. We got this. Nice. It comes on. It's got a proximity thingy on it. And this is uh, Stu. Stu, thanks for setting up your base. Let's see what we got in here. Got a room full of batteries. And we got a food processor and some chairs. And an appearance modifier, this could be critical if I looked funny. And then we literally have one of every plant. Ooh. Oh, I was hoping for chromatic metal. That's too bad. Alright, the wet is crap and I forgot my umbrella. Let's get out of here. See where I parked? Right over here. So how much copper did I pick up? Mm, exosuit. 593. That's pretty good. Alright. I wish I could actually drive the freighter around. I mean, I know I can warp. But I wish I could, like, drive over to the space station. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a teleport module, so I can't go there. But. I can put this stuff in the refiner and then I'll fly over to the space station and buy some wiring looms while this is refining. Could have used the portable refiner, but you know, there's no fun in that. 593. Oh, it's so quiet. All right, that'll it'll give us some chromatic metal. I'm going to fly over to the space station and get some more wiring looms. All right, I'm back. Didn't have enough to afford five, which I think is what I needed. Now, I, I don't really need these because it's just to repair this. Oh, I have five now. Good. I need antimatter. All right, hold on. So now, where's the green steps? Let's, uh, let's see what the old refiner gives us. We got, uh, oh, no, 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 no. No, not this bug. The refiner ate all my copper and left me 
with nothing. Okay, well, let's use a repair kit. Apply a repair kit. Okie doke. I do have one more Piper Core. I don't have to use it though. I can I can use this warp cell. I'm pretty upset about the loss of chromatic metal. Just be wary. And then I need three antimatter here to repair this. The reason I want to do this is because I can transfer stuff to the freighter from anywhere. How many antimatter can I make? One, two, I can't make any. I could if I had my chromatic metal. Okay, no, I can use a repair kit. I have two left. All right, nope, I'll, I'll use a repair kit. Apply the repair kit. Should have, you know, I should have done that for that. That's the most expensive thing. Okay, so now that's all repaired. We're ready to warp. I can't believe you lost all my chromatic metal. Man. All right, reach the bridge of the freighter, access the bridge via the hangar. So I'm in the, I'm in the bridge, you know. Let's engage the freighter warp drive. We are in Euclid, 694,000 light years from the core, so we're in a typical starting, starting space. Amplified. Where do we want to go? Expedition route. Well, I can go to the next system, right? Yep. Let's go ahead and go here. Warping. We have arrived. Hang time. All right. I'm in Tanish. Now, what do I get for that? Engage engines. When in a stellar in your freighter. All right. What do I get for that? Um, warp hypercore plans. Salvaged hyperdrive upgrade. Amplified warp shielding plans. All right. Yep, I can make my own uh, hypercore now. That's good. I can make the amplified warp shielding hyperdrive upgrade. Hyperdrive upgrade for what? Upgrades the hyperdrive's core bounding magnets. I assume for the freighter. A class deployable salvage. Yeah, so it's here. All right. So that's uh, what does this do? Glory of <laughs> the glory of one on and on. Uh, improved hyperdrive range. All right, let's uh, let's move the hyperdrive back to uh, the freighter technology. Then, there we go. We now have a hyperdrive range of 298. The matter beam thingamabobber. Um, we'll put that right here. Okay. Good. No, that's great. And I have some salvage frigate modules, and I'm still missing all my chromatic metal. And uh, the save point, it can, it can now stay in the freighter because I got the matter beamy thingy. And this is a pulse engine upgrade module for the starship, which gives me uh, plus six maneuverability and 16% false false fuel. Yep, that's what I said. Reach the first rendezvous point. Magnetic magnetic resonator plans. 3,333 3, nanites. Salvage frigate module. Inventory slot times two. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's use the warp hyper core. In not the starship, but the freighter, in technology. Let's uh, fuel it up with the core, which gives me what? It just fills it up. I don't know how many warps it gives me. It doesn't really say. I've always wondered that. And apparently I'll continue to wonder that. I need cash, man. Because I need chromatic metal. I'm going to have to mine some more copper. Anyway, now let's go. And in one jump, I can make it to Higari Rigi, which is the location of the rendezvous point. With the flange leading the way. All right, we're here. Expedition rendezvous system located, reach the first rendezvous point. So, okay, no. Steal my ship from me now? 
my chromatic metal back. All that copper, all that time, all gone. Ooh, is that a paradise planet? What's the ex rendezvous point number one is a big exclamation point. It's a tempered planet, but it's not a paradise planet. Let me get a, uh, let me land in a space station just in case I need to come back here. It's the all plants and more guy. He's also here. I have a feeling there's a step where I'm going to need all plants and more or it's a running gag and I don't get it. I went to the other side first. I don't need to go to the other side. I don't even know if I have enough money to upgrade my exosuit. I do. The question is, do I need to upgrade it? Well, I will put one in cargo with that. Alright, how many nanites do I have now? 2,000 nanites? You got any uh, S movement modules just in case I need to do the runaround? Yes, you do. And I'll buy it before I even think about whether that's a good idea or not. Because it's always a good idea. And you'll just plug in right there. What do we got? 200%, 34, 9, 19, uh, no recovery time though. Well, it's normal mode. I don't really need the recovery that much. And uh, we'll put life support back here. We'll, we'll forget about it. Okay, good. Now let's go to the rendezvous point. Which worries me that it's a big red exclamation. Oh, could be a crash freighter. Maybe that's what that means. Yeah, see? All plants and more. Why? Alright, my guess is it's a crash freighter. Hopefully I can find it. And of course it's night. It's always night. I could be wrong about it being a freighter. I don't think I'm wrong. There it is. Alright, let's get a landing. What do you think about landing? What do you think? There you go. Easy. Wasted 20 ferrite just to say I wasted 20. <laughs> hey man. If it's fun, it's not wasted, right? I reached the first rendezvous. What do I get? Uh, expedition... Uh, here we are, collect rewards. We get uh, a magnetic resonator plans, the nanites, and the jazz. Okay. Totally buying another movement module. I don't care. Yep, magnetic resonator. Oh yeah, I got uh, inventory slots. Mm. Oh, I don't know. I'm just put it up front. What the heck. Alright. Another salvage frigate module. That's very convenient. I appreciate that. And now I can collect the reward. It's a pilgrim poster. Polestar poster plans and heavy shipping poster plans. It's basically a poster collection. Alright. And then, what's the next phase? Let's see. Read the second entry in the ship's log. Reach the second rendezvous. Construct an orbital exocraft materializer. I thought I did that. Mm, okay, yep. Freedom of the seas. Deploy a submarine. Hmm. Construct a teleport chamber. Discover 20 plants. Construct a double cultivation chamber. Visit someone else's freighter base. Optional. Okie doke. And what are the rewards for this? Reward high gravity freighter trail customization. Cool. And then what's phase three? What's the, well, we're just going right to the reward. Navigation archive plans, flaming barrel plans, data display unit plans for phase four, fleet commander's cape customization, phase five, uh, expedition decals and a banner, and then the final phase, the reward is a companion egg, which is one of those floaty jellyfish things. Where was the cape? Well, the cape was here. I don't want a flaming barrel. And what there's the commander's cape is phase four. What do we have to do in phase three? Entry, reach the third rendezvous, construct a stellar extractor room, recruit three pilots, shoot down pirates, complete fleet expeditions, zero of eight. I need to get that started. And let's see if I can start an expedition. 
not an expedition expedition, but an expedition expedition. Uh, do I have a fleet room? Oh, we're, we have a get crew now, everybody. Uh, hey, man. Gra. Uh, we lack a fleet command room. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do I need to make a must be inside the freighter? Excuse me. Hey, did my chromatic metal come back? Didn't think so. Alright, let's uh, start a... Uh, there's a storage container room. What do I need for a fleet expedition room? Fleet command room, I need stuffs. I have stuffs. Uh, we have a bulkhead there. Where's a convenient spot to put it? Can I put it there? I can put it there. And there's that there. Let's put it right here. Alright. Now, if can I access this and get my fuel? I should have enough inventory. Hey. Calibrating. Master, one, frigate, download. Give me. Thank you very much. I got the I got the fuel. Alright. And uh, now let's talk to this guy. What's your name? Acerol? Acerol? View potential expeditions. Uh, let's see. We got any shorties? Yeah, 59 minutes. Industrial expedition. Difficulty rating is 1. This is uh, There's also a balance with a difficult rating of 1. Ooh, which one do I want to go on? They're both difficult ratings of 1. I think industrial gives some interesting stuffs. So we'll do industrial. Assign a ship. What kind of ship do I have? The Bard of Ikaria. Ikaria. And uh, you're a pretty darn good ship and you are industrial. Okay, wow. I'm, I'm coming up with all the right guesses. This would have been a perfect expedition so far if it wasn't for that chromatic metal. Uh, let's launch the expedition. I should have the fuel. There it goes. Whoosh. I launched it without your help, pal. Acerol. 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 I can't actually say it. Acerol. It's too bad you can't rename it. I'd rename you something that sounds close to Acerol. You know what I mean. All right. So that expedition's been sent out because fortunately I looked ahead and found that we needed it. And then uh, when we come back, uh, we'll do phase two, whatever it's called. Expedition phase two. I'll, I'll get the cape. I think I'll get the cape. Hold on. Let me, let me just look. This is the cape, right? This is the cape. This requires... Um, mine from an astro asteroid. So that's fun. Find and restore a crashed starship. I'm an expert. Process a starship into valuable scrap. Also expert. Discover minerals. Gold like sand. Earn 420... Earn 9 million units. Please, just show me some storm crystals. I got this thing handled. All right. These all sound like fun. But anyway, that's going to be it for this time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later. And I'm totally going to put down the save beacon because I don't want to run all the way down to the ship. Where would the... Let's see. It's a save point. That's what I meant. Let's put the save point right here in the hallway. Even though people might trip over it. There, I got a save. It's dark. Yeah, it's good enough. See you later.